Hi, Grace Church. This is Pastor Tim with this week's video update. Last week on Mother's Day in our worship gathering, Pastor Jordan opened the Word and we focused on Romans 12, 12. It's a loaded verse. It's a verse that was applied to moms specifically last Sunday, and in the context of last Sunday's worship gathering, it was applied to all of us because it does apply to all of us. Rejoice in hope. Rejoice in hope because of all that Christ has done and accomplished on our behalf and all that he has promised to us. Rejoice in hope. And in view of that hope, be patient in tribulation here and now. And be constant in prayer. Express reliance on God as a, an expression of faith. Well, uh, we had a great time together last Sunday morning on Mother's Day, and we hope that uh, there were moms and grandmas who were celebrated. We hope that women in general were celebrated uh, meaningfully last Sunday. Well, we want to welcome back the men from the church who were out in Montana on a men's work trip. Uh, Pastor John coordinated that trip, and we just heard great reports. Good fellowship among the guys that were there. They got done all that they had aimed to get done in terms of work projects during the week. They had safe travel out, safe travel back. We uh, just thank the Lord for all that and welcome back, guys, and thanks for serving out at Trails End Ranch and helping out uh, Jim and Kim Pardee and uh, the team out at Trails End Ranch. Well, this coming June 3rd and 4th, just uh, several weeks from now, there's going to be a father and son's camp out. It's also going to involve some fishing, and uh, we hope a lot of guys can be involved in that. Contact Pastor John for more information. Incidentally, if, uh, if you're a man, you don't have a son, or you don't have a son in the area, or a grandson in the area, you're still free to go and participate in this Father and Son weekend. It sounds like it's going to be a great, great time. You'll get more information in the weeks to come. Contact Pastor John for more details. I also want to um, just alert us that on June the 12th, the second Sunday in June, we're going to have a grad Sunday here. Uh, right now the plan is Pastor Jordan is going to be preaching that Sunday. Our grads will be recognized as a part of that day. It's a meaningful Sunday in the life of Grace Church, and uh, so get that on your calendar. Grad Sunday is June the 12th. Also want uh, you to be aware that on uh, Saturday, May the 21st, our best agers group, those 50 and over, they are having an, an outing. It's going to begin with uh, lunch at Drifter's Restaurant, and then from there, the group is going to go to, uh, I think it's to play miniature golf. It's UP Putt. That sounds like miniature golf to me, um, and I am prepared to stand corrected if I'm wrong, but it sounds like it'll be a great event for uh, those who are 50 and over in that best agers group. Finally, this Sunday in our worship, this Sunday, May 15th, uh, we're going to welcome in some new members. There's going to be singing to God in worship, and uh, we're going to be looking together in this continuing series, How Then Shall We Live?, which is taken from Romans chapter 12. At the beginning of Romans 12, verse 1, there's a therefore there. Everything in the first 11 chapters, which is all about the gospel and the plan of salvation, uh, there's a therefore in verse 1 of chapter 12, everything that follows in chapter 12, and quite frankly, all the way through chapter 16, are uh, practical exhortations on the ground of, in light of, this uh, grand work of God in salvation on our behalf. And this Sunday, we're going to look at two verses in verses 9 and verse 10. I hope you can be with us. I have the, uh, the privilege to open the Word this week. I look forward to that opportunity. I hope you can be with us this Sunday. Well, that's all for this week, Grace Church. You're very loved. Look forward to seeing you soon.